China is at full capacity for war, military analysts have said, as the U.S. is warned not to stand against its population of 1.4 billion people. The remarks followed U.S. President Joe Biden's vow to protect Taiwan should China invade. When asked whether the U.S. would defend Taiwan in the event of a conflict, President Biden told a CNN reporter, yes, the U.S. has a commitment to do that. Chinese experts have digested the remarks made by Mr. Biden and claim they should not be seen as a slip of the tongue or an accident. Questioning how the U.S. would step in to protect the island, over which China claims sovereignty, Lu Shang, a research fellow at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences in Beijing, spoke to Global Times, a publication controlled by China's Communist Party. Liu said, So far, not a single U.S. government official has spelt what defending Taiwan means if done by the U.S. Does it mean sending U.S. troops to confront the PLA? No one has ever explained in detail. On a military scale, both the U.S. and China enjoy very similar advantages in technology, yet the sheer size of the Chinese People's Liberation Army, as well as the strategic geographic position of China, compared to the U.S. when it comes to Taiwan may set the two apart. Seeking to dismiss the military might of the U.S., the Global Times analysis said, the U.S. had advantages and its strategic ambiguity was out of its diplomatic need toward China. But now, the PLA has an overwhelming advantage over the military on Taiwan Island, with full capacity to cause unbearable results to U.S. troops if they dare defend the island. Attacking President Biden, the editorial analysis went on. Biden does not have the political authority to announce that the U.S. military will defend Taiwan when a war breaks out, nor does he have the confidence to have a strategic collision with the Chinese mainland in the Taiwan Straits to support Taiwan secessionists. Taking the warning further the piece added, Americans bear the risk of a bottomless war for Taiwan Island. So, even if he dared make a slip of the tongue, he would not dare really think so from the bottom of his heart. Yet as diplomatic and threatening rhetoric flows from either side, there also remains a harsh yet significant reality as to whether the U.S. can actually come to the assistance of the Taiwan government. A White House spokesperson said the president will not announce any change in U.S. policy, as its stance remains robust. The spokesperson said, the U.S. defense relationship with Taiwan is guided by the Taiwan Relations Act. We will uphold our commitment under the act, we will continue to support Taiwan's self-defense, and we will continue to oppose any unilateral changes to the status quo. Mr. Biden also said on Thursday, I don't want a cold war with China. I just want China to understand that we're not going to step back, that we're not going to change any of our views. <laughs>